Alright, so the story for Oblivion is set in the future, like many sci-fi tales, and it's set on Earth 60 years after a big alien war between us humans and an alien species that decided, you know what, we're going to blow up your moon, we're going to watch you uh, pretty much, you know, get destroyed by tidal waves and all that stuff, and then we're going to come down and we're going to destroy you, but the thing is, we had nukes. So we used those nukes, and of course, we used a lot of nukes, and most of Earth is now radiated and is uninhabitable. So the remaining people that, you know, survived decided to go into space and make their own little safety, their safe haven, this big triangle in the sky that, you know, you can live in and all that stuff. The thing is, is that one part of Earth is inhabitable, and to make sure that part is, you know, st is still inhabitable and all the aliens that are left over don't screw it all up, you have two characters. You got Jack Harper, played by Tom Cruise, and you got Victoria, played by... Ooh, I'm going to screw her name up. Andrea Riseborough. Like they say in the trailer, they're pretty much the mop-up crew. Jack Harper has to go and pretty much fix these drones that are actually protecting the land from these alien stragglers. Whenever they go down, whenever you know a, a, a straggler actually gets a hold of one of them and actually takes a part of them, he has to go and fix them and whatnot. And that's pretty much their job. Now, of course, Jack Harper, he wants more out of life. You know, he actually has memories of stuff that happened before the Alien War, but the thing is, is that ha that happened 60 years ago, so he has no idea why he's having these memories. He remembers a woman, and boom, something happens. A big thing falls out of the sky, hits the ground. He goes, checks it, and guess what? One of the people that came down with this wreckage is the person that he keeps thinking of and she's played by Olga Korolenko. Now the story goes on from there. There's a resistance group, uh, there's a bunch of conspiracy, blah blah blah. I don't really want to say too much about this because the way they show it in the trailer, I have to give them credit. The trailer did not spoil anything. They really did not, they didn't spoil anything, at least to me. Uh, they made it seem like it was going to be a typical, oh, oh, Jack Harper, he's a part of this big organization, but they're evil or something and the resistance, the bleh, the resistance, you know, brings him in. He has a change of heart. He has to go bring down the big evil organization or something. And it really isn't that, which I thought was really cool, especially since this is more of a love story than anything else. It really is. And I'm not going to spoil that at all. And I actually really love the story here. I think the writing, for the most part, is really good. A lot of people are like, eh, the script isn't that great. I thought it was good. It was manageable. And the performances are fantastic here. Both uh, Tom Cruise and Andrea Risa Burrow, I think I'm saying her name right, are fantastic in this. For the most part, the first 40-50 minutes, they spend a lot of time together, and they actually do have a relationship, and it really does, they, they do a good job of, of showing that. There's a lot of great chemistry, they are both fantastic in this, Tom Cruise especially, I, I love that dude. I really do. I love Tom Cruise, and he is fantastic in this, and I love Andrea Risa Burrow. First of all, she is hot. And second of all, she's great. She's a great actress. She's a hot, great actress, and she's a redhead. Perfect. And she's actually fantastic in this. She really is. Uh, she uh, she helps out some of the emotional parts of the film, which there are plenty. Um, Olga Korolenko is great too. She shows up about fifty, yeah, about fifty minutes into the film. She's great as well. Um, Morgan Freeman, of course, is pretty much the leader of that resistance group. Won't spoil anything about that, but he's great as well, even though he's not in it as much. Uh, which is kind of weird because he's on the poster. It says Tom Cruise and Morgan Freeman, and he's barely in it, really. But um, he's great, and yeah, the supporting cast is great as well. Overall, I think the acting, the writing, the story itself is very captivating. I really do truly love the story in this film. Overall, I think the story, everything, is fantastic. But I'm not done, no. <laughs> There is more stuff that I think is absolutely fantastic in this movie. The CG in this film is spectacular. This actually reminded me a lot of Prometheus from last year, where you see, for most of the special effects are the scenery shots, where you see, you know, the mountains and the alien landscape and all that, except this is, of course, Earth. The thing is, is that it looks so alien because of the war and all the explosions, all that, and everything looks crumbled. It looked like a Fallout movie, except, of course, you know, better CG and graphics. It looked amazing. It truly did. The vistas looked amazing. All of the, the flying sequences, which Pretty much, that's all the action scenes. There's like one scene, actually there's two scenes of action where there isn't a flying scene, but there's a lot of great just, you know, flying sequences where he's just flying, there's no action, and then there's a great chase sequence with the flying. It looks amazing. The CG is spectacular. Some of the best I've seen in an extremely long time. I mean, it is gorgeous. Very seamless, too. It is amazing. It truly is. And some of the action scenes are <laughs> so much fun. There is one where a drone, these big 
pretty much metal balls with, you know, uh, guns. I mean, it's a drone. You should know. Uh, you should know what a drone is. It goes into a base and just whips ass. It just goes around and the camera keeps following it. The camera work is so good, you can tell what the hell is going on. And that action scene was so good. All the action scenes, great camera work. You can tell what's going on. It's a lot of fun. You're really, really... You're brought into this world, you really do care for the characters, so you don't want to see something bad happen to them. At least me, you know. Some people said, oh, I don't really care about the human part. I did. I really did. But I was also one that cared for the human part of Tron Legacy, so maybe I'm just easy. I, I get manipulated really easily, I guess. But I really did like this film a lot. If I had to say one thing that was bad... It was a little bit too long. I think it could, they could have shaved about 15 minutes off and I would have been fine. It's a little over two hours long and it felt very long. There's parts where it gets slow and you just see Tom Cruise going, Oh man, this is life. I wish I could have this, blah, blah, blah. And if you see the film, you might know what I'm talking about. They could have shaved some of that part off. I understood what he was going through. I understood his character. He didn't need to put that part in. But uh, besides that, really, I can't think of anything that's bad in this film. <laughs> I, I really loved it. Oblivion is getting very mediocre reviews, but if you go in there not expect just a straight up boom 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 action freaking Transformers movie you might actually get some more emotional value for your money so there you go Oblivion I think is a fantastic film I, I actually loved it I really did I truly loved it and the only problem is it's a little too long that's it the acting it's a very emotional movie the story is great the action the CG the score is amazing everything I can't think of anything that's not you know fantastic besides the length so there you go there is my review i hope you enjoyed and the writing and the writing i'm going to give it a 30 i'm going to give it a 38 out of 40 i'm going to give it the same score i gave uh, 42 i love this movie it's great go check it out there you go there's my review i hope you enjoyed it thank you and goodbye